Hi, welcome to the video. We're about to make some fruit tarts here. Uh, it's going to be a raspberry, strawberry, and kiwi orange tart. I'm going to use into that tart also some pastry cream here and some creme chanty, a nice sweeted whipped cream. All those recipe videos are on my channel if you want to check them out. I take a piece of that dough. I'm going to roll it. This is a pat brise. It's also onto my channel if you want to check it out. A little flour here, a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top, a little bit on the rolling pan, and we're going to roll that nicely. I would say two to three millimeter thick. Don't make it too thin if it's too thin. You know, it, it, it doesn't really hold well, and it might break as you're trying to pick it up and eat it. So again, two to three millimeter thick is gonna be good. As you roll it, you make sure it's always, there's always flour on the bottom. When you roll a dough, as you roll it, if you see it doesn't expand, it's because it's sticking to your working area. So you want to move it around and maybe add a little bit more flour. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. Those have been pre-buttered. I grease them a little bit on the inside. I'm making two little tops here. I'm going to cut those out, one, two, remove that, put it on the side, and take those here, and take it, put it inside, and shape it nicely, just like that. When you put your dough into your mold, let it come a little bit above the ring here. So in case of it shrinks down, you know, you still have room to put your cream and fruit. Hope it makes sense. You create a little leap here like that. Okay. Get one. Put it in. Press it. And like this, this way. Then I'm going to, I need to pre-bake them. I need to bake them. We need to do what we call blind baking. Uh, is I'm going to put a weight inside. I'm going to use rice actually. Let me show you. I take a piece of parchment paper here. I kind of squish it like that. It's easier after. I'm going to put it inside this way, okay? Same with that one, and I put it in. Now I'm going to fill that with some rice. You could use other things like grain or beans, dry beans, whatever you have, I'm using rice. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven till the dough is cooked. It should take 15 minutes, just like that. But before, I'm going to let it rest in my fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. If I put it right away in the oven as I just run it, it's kind of a, um, warm, so the dough just might collapse inside. I don't want that to happen, so I make sure it's very, very cold. So I'm going to put it in the fridge 10, 15 minutes, and then I will blind bake it in my oven. Those just come out of the oven here, like five minutes ago. They're done blind baking. This is how they look now. You have a nice pastry shell. It's going to be ready to be filled with whoops, my mixture of pastry cream and whipped cream. You can keep whatever you use to blind bake your dough for another use. Uh -huh. You keep those. There's nothing wrong with it if you're going to use it for the same purpose, of course. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of my whipped cream, uh, I'm sorry, pastry cream. I'm going to do two tablespoons of pastry cream and a nice tablespoon of whipped cream. I'm going to stir that all together. Now this is for two little tarts here that I have. If you have a bigger tart shell, you just increase the volume here, the quantity. You stir all that together. 
could you just use the pastry cream? Yes, you could. I like to add a little bit of whipped cream to it. It lighted it up a little bit. You know, it's a little bit more richer, but when you eat it, it's smoother in the mouth. I prefer it. This is what we call actually a creme mousseline. When you mix whipped cream and pastry cream together. Just like that. Oopsie. Then, I'm going to use that spoon again. I'm going to fill the shell with that cream, just like that. Okay. Just enough, huh? So here are my fruits. This is a nice poach pear that I did earlier. Again, that video is on the channel if you don't know how to uh, poach some fresh fruit. And I'm gonna use also uh, here some raspberry, uh, strawberry, sorry, strawberry. I'm gonna remove the tip here. I rinse them, of course. Take those. I'm going to slice those this way. I have those raspberry here that I'm going to use too. I'm going to slice my pear. That piece is for me. Quality control, as we say. And you have a kiwi in the skin. Magically, it come out of the skin. If you wanna know, if you wanna know how I do that, I have a video on that. Check out how to peel a kiwi with a spoon. Okay, and now I'm ready to fill up my dough. Oh, I need to slice that too. I'm gonna cut it in half. I said this way. I'm going to take those. I'm going to build the tart. I'm going to take my pair. I'm going to go all around like that, overlapping each other. So you go like that, then I'm going to add the strawberry this way, overlapping like that. Whoops. I'm going to take a little bit of kiwi, put them here, this way. I'm going to finish up with a little raspberry like that. And here you have a beautiful fruit tart. Let's make another one where now I'm going to use more of the strawberry on the outside. Show you that there is really different way to do those. You know, you have to use your creativity here and imagination. Little pear on the center, and again finish it with a couple of strawberry on top. And here you have another beautiful 
fruit tart. Thank you for watching that quick demo on how to make a nice fruit tart. I hope you enjoyed. You take care.